What up, fellas? It's your boy Johnny, and I see a lot of dudes ordering pho, and they eat it plain. Like, what the fuck? Wait, hold up. This video ain't about pho. Okay, so I see a lot of dudes that have decent fits, but it's just so boring. All right, back to the pho. I see a lot of people eat pho as soon as it gets to the table. Like, bro, there's sriracha, hoisin sauce. They give you veggies, bean sprouts, and basil, and all that, and yet they don't use any of it. All of these are able to spice up your pho and make it taste better. Just like there's a bunch of things that you can do to spice up your fit. So today, your boy has got you on how to upgrade your fits. So let's get this first one out of the way. Way, get out of your comfort zone, man. There is a thing that is called desensitization. You and everyone else will get desensitized to anything over a long period of time. And this is why you always have to switch it up and try something new. It's like whenever you're with your girl. Actually, y'all are just trying to upgrade your fit so you can get some girls. Never mind. Hey guys, whenever you're bored with something, do something different, try something new. Back during my cringy days, I'd wear nothing but all fitted clothes. And it was cool, especially when you lift, things fit better and shape your body better. But do I really gotta be looking like Mr. Trojan Ecstasy Man all the time? So that moves us to the second point on how to upgrade your fits, change the fitment of your clothing pieces. Now this goes both ways. If you're used to wearing boxy oversized shirts, maybe slim it down a little. Slimmer jackets, hoodies, and t-shirts. But in my case, it was definitely adding oversized clothes to my looks. The main reason why I really enjoyed this aesthetic, even though I was uncomfortable at first, was because I can contrast sizing. Contrasting an oversized shirt with skinny pants really changes your overall aesthetic versus fitted on fitted clothing. We get it, man. There's so much more that you can do when sizing doesn't matter. Third tip, get a haircut, man. Most dudes actually look really good with shorter sides and a longer top. Personally, I know a lot of people ask me this. I like to go from a skin fade from a zero to a two, and then I like to grow out the top. And going to point number one, don't be afraid to grow it out either. I know longer does not work on me because your boy looks like a fucking yucca plant. So the fourth tip that'll upgrade your outfits is to modify your clothes. So by this, I mean cuff the jeans, cuff the bitch. Cuff your jeans, roll your sleeves, push up the sleeves, tucking your pants into your socks, tucking your shirt, Richie Leeing, oh, I mean distressing your clothes, beating your sneakers, anything you can think of. These are just my favorite ways to upgrade my fits. Now the fifth one is the most important tip, but I do hear a lot of people missing a few points. So the fifth tip is to accessorize, man. Yes, man, wear your rings. I get mine from Amazon. Wear your bracelets, wear your necklaces. But what a lot of people miss are the bigger accessories. Fanny packs, sling bags, and all that. They're still dope and very convenient. Rocking chains on your pants or an extended belt or pants with drawstrings. Each of these adds some depth to your outfit. It's like adding the sriracha and veggies to your pho. And I mentioned this earlier, but your socks are a pretty huge visual accessory that you can incorporate into your outfits to make you stand out. You can change the color of your socks how it fits on your pants and flex the logo a little bit. No more basic pho boys, man. See what I did there? Next up, learn how to layer. And I know it's getting warmer out, but hey, shut up and go layer. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, man. This is for the future fall and winter people that get to see my video. What's up? Layering allows you to test patterns, textures, colors, and eventually you're gonna learn how to color block. And I'm gonna make this video soon, man. What patterns go with what? What should go under what? Me personally, I love tank tops under jackets and flannels. Along with the colder months, hoodies under a jacket is always a clean, super versatile look. Yeah, fellas, once you get this down, you're pretty much set to have unlimited amount of outfit combinations. Now, last but not least is to have a plethora of styles. Do not limit yourself to one style, bro. You don't wanna be that guy that only plays discount Samus on Smash. You wanna be able to play the heavy people, your Ganons, your Bowsers. And you also want to learn how to play the sword people, just so you know how they work and how to play against them. And eventually you're going to build an appreciation for all aesthetics and styles. And that alone is cool because it's easy to strike up a conversation when you see someone wear something nice. And you might see homegirl over there rocking Jordans. Actually, <laughs> you can't trust a girl wearing Jordans. But you guys get what I mean. Follow me on Instagram, it is fly with Johnny Ty and help your boy get to 10k because I'm tired of not being able to swipe up. And until then, stay fly, upgrade your fits, bruh. I'm out, man. Peace.